Hey, hope that you are doing well today. So today we're going to do another children's lesson. Well, yesterday was the 4th of July. And as America, we celebrated our independence. Got my American flag here. And so for today's activity, what we're going to do is I have a map. So let me get this map real quick. I have a map of the whole world. Whole world. Well, you can see in the green on my right side uh, down below uh, North America, we have the United States. And so for the activity today, here is what you're going to do. We know in the United States we have 50 states. So you can get with your parents and your parents can help you with this. So what you will do is they will call out a state. Let's say, for instance... Uh, Montana, right? We're in Tennessee, Montana. Montana is all the way out west. So when they call out a state, you can act like you're walking to Montana. So you can act, you can go in place or you can actually walk through your house. And then they might say stop. And then they'll say another state. They'll say, uh, New York. And so you'll got to go back east. So you'll act like you're walking to New York. So I hope you have a great time doing this activity. All right, so for the activity, you all, uh, you had your parents call out a state and you guys walked to that state. So why did you all do that? Well, it's because yesterday we celebrated the 4th of July, our independence. And so we have freedom here in America. And we can thank those who serve to protect our country, the men and women who serve to protect our country. So we can thank them. And we think about the different freedoms that we have. We have freedom to go to church. You have freedom to be at home and watch this. You have freedom to choose what you want to wear, the clothes that you want to wear. You have freedom to eat what you want. Now you might be thinking, well, I really don't have freedom in that because my parents buy the food and they say you're going to eat this. But still, they have freedom to go buy the food at the grocery store. And so you have freedom in, in toys that you buy, toys that you play with. So we have all kinds of freedom. And that's what we celebrated yesterday. Well, let's think about this. We have freedom in Jesus. And you might be thinking, well, well, what is that? Freedom in Jesus. Well, we've been talking about uh, what Jesus has, has done for us. And we talked about uh, last week as well. That he has uh, died on the cross uh, for our sins. And, and we can repent and put our trust in him. And so when we do that, we have freedom in that. And that's a, that's a great thing. Because sin keeps us tangled. And that's not good. We're, we can be tangled in our sin. And what Jesus did is he untangled all of that of what he did on the cross. And that is a great thing. But you know what? We have freedom in him. But we also have choices. Jesus doesn't make us do the right choice or do the wrong choice. But he gives us the choice. And that's uh, freedom that we have in that. And we're going to read here in a minute in God's Word. But when we read God's Word, uh, it, it shows us the right way and also the wrong way. But still, we can choose. Jesus doesn't make us. So, the thing is, is that each day, we have the choice. Are we going to obey the Lord? Or are we going to disobey that's the choice that we have every day. And so, let's think about that. Well, also, you know, I have this, this backpack. And it's heavy. It's a heavy backpack. Okay? Now, I can, like, I can put it on my shoulder, and it's heavy. Now, if I sat like this for a while with this backpack on, it might hurt my back. Well, you guys may have a backpack at home. 
and you take that backpack to school and it may have a lot of books like this has a lot of books and it has a lot of uh it has a couple big notebooks in it and if i you know walked around for a while it, it would get heavy it would it would probably start to hurt my back a little bit but you know what let's say you're at school and you've been carrying your backpack all day and you're thinking wow my back is so tired huh and then there's a teacher that comes along and that teacher says hey i see that you're struggling with your backpack i know you've been carrying around all day and so can i take that from you and you go sure so the teacher takes takes a load off your back because you have given your this big backpack to your teacher well we're going to read here in the scripture how we carry a load of things uh, different struggles we have sin and just different things that that we uh, have to deal with each day and jesus talks about how we can give those to him so we're going to read in matthew chapter 11 verse 28 and this is jesus talking he says come to me all of you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest so we see that we have burdens and you might be thinking well justin what are burdens well burdens are our struggles worries uh, sins that we uh, deal with and jesus says come and we can give those burdens to him but you know what sometimes we don't give them to him we want to carry him ourselves, and we get tired we get um we can be exhausted and because we're, we're thinking about all the different things that that's going on and, and those are on our mind and each day that's happening well you know what jesus says hey come he, and he will take the burden from us but the things that the thing that we have to do is we have to be willing we have a choice to do that we have to say okay i'm going to give these to jesus i'm going to give my my sins he's going to forgive me of my sins i'm going to give those to him i'm going to give some worries maybe you have some worries like in your family maybe different things going on in your family and you can say i'm going to give those to jesus and he will take that from us and he will be there with us and he will give us strength to get through all of those things so as we think about this think about what what different types of worries or maybe struggles you have or maybe there's some things like in your family and you're thinking i need to give those to jesus even sin we need to give those to him so i want you to think about that uh, today that we can have and you can have freedom in christ but we all have a choice are we going to obey god or are we going to disobey god are we going to uh, give our life to him or not give our life to him we have a choice so i want you to think about that and you can get with your family and you can talk about this. And I just want to say, I hope today you have a great day. All right. So for today's craft, we have a calling sheet. And you can print this out on TuscanBaptist.org. Uh, I have cardstock here. You don't have to do cardstock. You can just re do regular paper. And the craft is, there is power in the name of Jesus. And today we talked about having freedom in Christ. So I hope you have a great time doing this craft.